Welcome to the channel. This is Novataz and this is Novataz Customs. Uh, as you can see in the uh, intro, the truck still isn't fixed. I'm going to take it back apart and uh, I'm going to test the different um, hydraulic lines and uh, make sure that the transmission is working the way it's supposed to and seeing if there was uh, something that I didn't put back together correctly. Um, and uh, I'll take you along with and let, let's explore what happened with this transmission today. Alright guys, I really don't know if I want to take you back through taking this all back apart. You've already seen me do it several times. But I'm going to go pull this apart real quick and then uh, I'll get you back over to the, uh, the camera here. Well, not sure how much of that you saw, but pans off, filters off, uh, let the drain for a little bit, and then I'll pull the valve body back down. But until then, I'm going to drop the rear drive shaft so it's easier to pull out that parking brake. Oh, all right, let's drop this valve body again. Apologize for the noise, but. I'm sorry for the light, um, but it's out. As you can see, it went down. All right, now it's time to test and find out what wasn't working. All right, well, I just finished uh, tearing this back down, checking it over again. It is not this. Um, next thing I'm going to do is test the actual transmission itself. I'm just going to do a uh, pressure test with some air and uh, make sure that everything is working inside the transmission itself. Uh, sorry for the backlight. Um, so hopefully I'll have this back up and in and running by the end of the night. Okay, it was right after this that I had uh, recorded a whole segment on how to test the transmission using the air tool to engage the clutch packs. Um, all of them came back that I can hear them nice and solid and firm, so it's not that. So let's move on to putting the valve body back in. Alrighty, we're going to get ready to put this uh, valve body back up in and uh, hope it all goes well. There's nothing.
Alright, I'm breaking down. I'm just gonna do it this way. There we go, it's in. Now I gotta stick that C clip back in that I took out for this uh, bar. Alright, so I made me a piece of wire with a little C-clip on the end. Let's see if we can get this up in there. Alright, I probably look like a mess, which, yeah, I think I do. Ready to put fluid in. I feel like I've just done this. Oh, wait. Did it? Like, two days ago. Anyway, um, put the fluid in. Fingers crossed that it works. We'll find out. We put the fluid in, and I'll get back to you to start the truck and see if it moves. Alright, moment of truth. You guys right here. Feels like it's got power again in forward gears. Pretty sure it does. The other thing I need to check is whether or not it's shifting after downshift for power uh, to match the gas. Um, I have to save that for another video. It's late. I have work tomorrow, and people are sleeping. So I'm gonna say, fingers crossed. I think it's fixed. We'll find out. So it's a 
few days later, um, and I didn't get to test drive the truck today uh, then, so I'm gonna test drive it right now. And uh, let's hope we got this problem fixed. And uh, fingers crossed, guys. All right, guys, moment of truth. Maybe you can help me out. I have... I don't know, it just seems like it's slipping when I put it in the drive. So, I don't know if I did something wrong or what, but you got transmission guys out there, let me know. Um, so frustrated. I just need a truck on the road. But I don't know, I'll figure it out. Till next time. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Check out my social media links below. Stay tuned. See if uh see if we get this problem fixed. Um Thank you guys for all of your uh your support. And uh, yeah, made it above 3,000 subscribers. Thank you guys. I'm sorry I should sound a little more enthused about that, but uh, this truck has kind of got me down, so. Fucking dodges. All right. Till next time.